I'm Aaron Baker from PhoneDog.com and it's part two of the full video review of the BlackBerry Z30, BlackBerry's newest high-end smartphone with a five inch display. It competes on the size specs and more with the other high-end devices on the market. The question is, is it too little too late for BlackBerry? Let's go find out in part two of the Z30 full video review. Part two of the review of the BlackBerry Z30, the big screened BlackBerry that's available in certain markets right now. Canada coming soon to the US on Verizon Wireless. It brings the five inch form factor to BlackBerry and gives an alternative over the Android devices and Windows Phone devices that are over. Actually, there's only one that's over five inches and it hasn't been released, but you get my point. Five inches out of BlackBerry, 720p HD display here. It's a Super AMOLED display. Other specs include a 1.7 gigahertz dual core CPU, eight megapixel camera on the back with 1080p HD recording, 2,880 milliamp hour battery, two gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of internal storage, a micro SD card slot as well for expandable memory. And then of course I should point out the battery is not removable even though the battery cover or the back cover rather is removable, the battery is not. So keep that in mind. But a slightly different design but overall packing a similar BlackBerry look and feel here including the operating system BlackBerry 10.2 which is what we've seen on devices such as the Z10 and the Q10. This is nice and rounds it out all around. Before we get too far into it, I want to thank our partners at Best Buy Mobile. They give us devices like these for use in our One Paul Bandit giveaway game, which honestly is our free game where we give you free phones on PhoneDog.com. When you go into Best Buy Mobile to get this device or whatever the case may be, you'll walk out working. They'll make sure your email, your web, your contacts, your settings, all that jazz is good to go. So when you walk out the door, you don't have to waste time setting things up thanks to Best Buy Mobile. All around here, a nice device, 2,880 milliamp hour battery. So far works pretty well in both standby and screen on time and actually using the device for moderate to heavy use. So you can see here, things have been revised and we've covered BlackBerry 10 pretty extensively between the Q10, the Z10 and now the Z30, but I just wanna highlight some of my favorite parts of BlackBerry 10. One is the new call interface here. You can see it's clean, the fonts look good. It's definitely up to par and looks like something you would see in 2013 as opposed to old school BlackBerry where it was like something out of 2002. Nice to see the update here, looks good. You've got contacts, you've got your calls as well and you can see them both in here and then you can see them through the BlackBerry Hub as well, along with, like I said in part one, BBM, text messages, Gmail, Twitter, calls, all of your stuff in one spot right there. And it's accessible, or accessible rather, by swiping to the left, swiping back to the right to get to your open applications. And as you can see here, it does customize, like I said in part one, the square. So you can see right now it's showing recent activity. If I click on the dial pad, and then back out, it's gonna look different. So cool little feature there, and of course your applications that are here out of the box. Another favorite here, the weather application's quite nice. You can see right now in Dallas, 68 degrees, uh, 76 degrees, just kidding. Not nearly as hot as it's been over the summer. Nice to see it cool off a little bit, although it's a little bit dreary outside, as you can see by this sad little gray background here on the AccuWeather application. So you've got that, of course, you've got BlackBerry World as well, docs to go, you've got pictures, music, videos, and everything just looks better all around. Maps we covered in part one, and you can see Evernote there as well, and you've got easy access to your tutorials as well, where you can go through and check those off as you go through and familiarize yourself with BlackBerry's new user interface. Now here's the contacts list. You can see it's bringing in some of my BBM contacts here, and I can either go over here and click on all and filter those, or I can go into add, for example, and you can see what it looks like here. It's kind of a blue color scheme, very similar actually in terms of color scheme, that and that alone, to Android with the blue up there, very similar to stock Android. You can see the keyboard, which we covered in part one. It definitely works well on the five inch display. And I wanna highlight BlackBerry World as well. BlackBerry's app store pales in comparison in terms of total number of applications, pales in comparison to iOS and Android. But you still got some pretty decent ones in here. I can search down here at the bottom for actual applications themselves. Or I can go into categories here and you can see my navigation back and search down here. I can go into applications and I can say, you know what, let's look for finance and we'll go to expense tracking something I do on a regular basis when I travel for work. Track my stuff, for example, and you can see what an application page looks like here. Details and reviews, I can scroll through the screenshots and I can see down through here, package of four applications, it lists them out, expenses, income, budgets, accounts, reports, and then of course I can buy it if I want to, in this case, pay $1.99 by clicking right there. I can share it down here as well with my friends. I've got a wealth of options to share, text messages, BBM, and more. So I can keep Blackberry, Blackberry World, rather, 
running down there at the bottom. Now you can see system settings is different here as well. A little bit of a different look and feel and the way things are categorized is different. Also display, you got notifications about network configurations. But without further ado, I wanna jump into the camera here. You'll notice that when you're on the main screen, you get quick access to your phone, search, and then the camera down here as well. It's an eight megapixel camera, shoots video at 1080p. And I'll come down here and you can see I can hit the screen. It's gonna snap the picture just like that. So snap the picture and down here you can see I can switch the camera, I can change the shooting mode, go back, I can change flash, auto, ratio, and more just by clicking right there. And then of course I've got the option here to do camera or this, which you can see right here to maximize. And I actually don't have any faces to take pictures of right now, but you can see that that feature is there as well. And we'll maximize the, uh, and get your best face out of the gate. So switch camera, shooting mode, auto, and you can see the different scenes here. Action, whiteboard, night, beach, or snow. Obviously things that are very bright. Snow is bright, beach is bright, the bright sun tones that down a little bit. You can see the ratios here as well. So overall the camera is pretty decent. Compared to the 13 megapixel shooters you find on actually even the 8 megapixel camera on the iPhone 5S or perhaps the shooter you find on the Galaxy S4, the Note 3, the G2. A lot of great shooters out there on the Android side and on the iOS side and this does pale in comparison in some ways to that. But still a nice fast shutter here. I can move over, snap a picture, snap a picture as you see and quickly move through those and go down here into the gallery and take a look. Now from the gallery itself, I can edit and you'll see right here filters. I can apply antique filters, Lomo filters, kind of an Instagram like look and feel directly from the editing screen. And I brought this over just so you could see the size difference between the BlackBerry Z10 and the BlackBerry Q10. So you can see the overall look and feel between these two and how they're different and similar in some ways. Power button at top on both, headphone jack at top on both. Overall, the sides look very similar here with the volume buttons and of course, this quick access button to your shortcut, or quick access button rather is to your voice activation. And that's there as well. So overall, nice to have a bigger display here. And you've got Story Maker as well, which is something I wanna highlight. Create a new story here. We'll do this live on camera. And you can see my media. Let's create a story between these six pictures, for example. And I'll choose my music. I've got some sample songs, Firecracker. If you like HTC Zoe on the HTC One or the Zoe, the Blink Feed, not the Blink Feed, I'm sorry, the Zoe capabilities, I can do this and it kind of creates a similar setup here with the pictures. And you can see here, I'll turn up the sound a little bit. And it does something kind of similar. And from here, you can change the media, change the music titles, you can tweak it, you can save it, but then you can share it as well with your friends and come up with something, you know what, vintage, for example, change the music a little bit, change the overall look and feel. So again, if you like that Zoe capability, you've got that on the BlackBerry Z30. Storyboard is one of the most underappreciated in my opinion, at least under talked about, if you will, applications. That's really loud. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out so we can talk together. But one of the most under talked about, if you will, or uh, underappreciated applications on BlackBerry. I find that to be exceptionally useful. Great for sharing quick videos with your friends or posting those, be it Facebook, etc. Really appreciate that benefit there. And then of course, quick access here in the top, the settings, Bluetooth, alarm, rotation lock, Wi-Fi notifications, and more. So it depends on what you're looking for with this device. If you're looking for an unlocked device, you want something different, you're tired of Android or iOS, take a look at this at GSM Nation. They hooked us up with a review unit. It's available for $629 by going to pdog.ws slash Z30. 629 bucks, not a terrible cost for an unlocked device. It does pick up HSPA Plus and AT&T, will work on T-Mobile as well with an unlocked SIM card or with a SIM card rather, it's an unlocked device. Not a bad device to have all around. It's different and something new from BlackBerry with a bigger display. That said, it's coming soon to Verizon, so if you wanna wait and get it on contract, you can do so if you're a Verizon customer, but then perhaps Android you're fancy or iOS is your fancy, it's gonna be a tough call, but there's a lot to like about this device, regardless of what you think about BlackBerry or regardless of their prospects for the future. Like the display, the camera's decent, the battery life is actually very solid in this device. The downsides, applications, and the fact that BlackBerry is a little bit long in the tooth, even with BlackBerry 10. Does it compete? We'll have to find out in a dog fight. Keep it locked on phonedog.com for more on the BlackBerry Z30. I'm on Twitter at phonedog underscore Aaron. Facebook, facebook.com slash hi Aaron Baker. Let me know what you think of BlackBerry's newest high-end smartphone. And stay tuned for more on BlackBerry Z30. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.